Hey, it's David Elder with SA Live. I'm out here off North Florida Street, right outside downtown San Antonio at a little place called King's Highway Brew and Q. And they call it brew for a reason. They got local brews on tap and the Q. It's barbecue joints. So we're going to go inside, see what they got on the menu. And I heard they got a little something called a garne asada grilled cheese sandwich. And you know I got to try that. King's Highway Brew and Q is way more than just barbecue. <laughs> Master Emilio Solis and his wife Christy opened the Tex Mex barbecue joint with the idea to offer San Antonio a fusion of two cultures. We want to marry the, the Hispanic Tex Mex culture with, you know, barbecue culture. All the barbecue and side items, like the barracho beans, are smoked and cooked daily. That's why we sell out sometimes because it's like, I'm, you know, I don't have a bunch of it sitting in the fridge to warm up and just we make it from scratch every morning. And cooking everything in the morning guarantees that customers will get a consistent product that's fresh and never frozen. We take a lot of pride in everything that we serve. You know, we don't put anything in the window that's not our idea of 100% perfect. My favorite item on their menu is the grilled cheese garne asada sandwich. We have the garne asada grilled cheese sandwich. Good life changing. This transports you to a happy place. The sharp cheddar cheese melts and flows into the carne asada, and the grilled cheese toast provides a crunchy base. When you dream about eating delicious food, this is what you're dreaming about. Oh my gosh. Their brisket torta is packed with lettuce, tomatoes, onions, their house-made tomatillo sauce, avocado, and topped with Mexican crema. Go right in for it. Get after it, man. Enjoy that. That's the face right there. That's the face. That is so good. And if you're looking for variety, the four taco combo plate is what you need. Pork belly, carne asada, the shredded chicken, and you got the brisket, all the little tomatillo salsa, onions, cilantro, and then you got the side of our beans. You can select four different meats or four of the same. I opted for four different meats, including their shredded chicken, which Emilio learned how to cook from his mom. That was the first thing I ever learned how to cook, and she taught me how to make that when I was about eight years old. The food is out of control. Mama's chicken, mama. <laughs> mama. That plus the cold beer and rustic atmosphere attracts both new and regular customers daily. So I come here to eat at least three or four times a week. It feels like they want to cook every time I'm in here. Today I'm trying the chopped brisket grilled cheese. I mean, anything with cheese is worth I like the food, it's really good. Probably the best sandwich I've tasted in town. I award King's Highway Brew & Q one of my top three favorite restaurants in San Antonio. Thank you so much for having me on here, man. I mean, King's Highway Brew & Q, you guys are, are doing everything, you're doing it the right way. And it's just delicious. It's worth the drive to come out here. You guys got, I mean, you'll be coming back every, I mean, probably five, six times a week. Okay. I know, I mean. <laughs> for SA Live, I'm David Elder. in one of his top restaurants uh, ever. And he goes to a lot of places I'm still that look really good. All right, STEMtastic toys to boost your kiddo's brain. We're sharing some of the hottest interactive education toys for the season. And a sauerkraut recipe for your dishes. How to pick cabbage for best tasting results. And we're gonna tell you all the secrets a little bit later on in the show. Today, steam toys, and I have Tonda Bungie Sellers here, the expert, to tell me. Okay, so this guy's going. All I did is push this button, but tell me all about this. So, right here. this is called Cubetto. It's a friendly little wooden robot that's designed beautifully for children to play with, and they can use their own little hands to create code. They don't know they're coding, but they're coding from age three on. Wait, so you're telling me three-year-olds are coding already? Using the logic behind wow. coding while they're children, building their ability to code in the future. Got and it. That is so cool. So STEAM toys, we're not talking STEM, S-T-E-M, it's STEAM, what does that stand for? STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math. Okay, and so this one right here, we showed at the 1250, but this is augmented reality. So you're gonna show yes, us- Yes, so this is Dr. Panda's virtual reality, uh, as well as augmented reality. It's a little dollhouse design. You can be your own designer in your home. Right now I'm scanning a fan and making it come to life. Oh, please technology work for us. Of course, when the cameras are on, ah, it doesn't wanna work for us. Of course not. But ultimately you get to pick there different goes, items. There we go, here we go. So there Yay. we go. You've created it. And then it. you put it in your house. You can spell, spell it. Spell it for a little phonemic awareness. Oh. 
this is awesome. And so it's just a huge house. You can add things to it. Yes, you can build multiple houses. Here we go. Now it's in its house, and he can Turn make the on. fan go. Oh, my gosh. And you can close it, and there's your house. You can close the doors, open the windows, do whatever you want. Designing in your own virtual dollhouse. And what age group is good for this one? This is for preschool as well as uh, general kids, siblings can, can play. Yeah. Um, they can color. There's physical markers. You can actually... Color oh. your own and then put them in your home. I can't keep up with technology, I tell you. <laughs> but Augie's really cool because he's not only augmented reality. I think Mike's playing. Our big kid over there is already playing with it. But you can also code with this one, right? Yes. So, so he's making it go. Tell me all about Augie. So Augie is a robot, believe it or not, for preschoolers to school-age children as well. He has augmented reality. He has the ability to code in augmented reality which means you can bring your coding to life immediately. And Mike, I think, is just playing around with a little few sequences to make him move forward or backward or in crazy eights, as well as uh, maybe make a little animal sound. Oh, gosh. Wait, did you <laughs> I, just make him bark? I, I, yeah, I, let, me, let me pick him up and try this again so you can hear it. But if I just touch the little doggy thing on here... <laughs> or a... That, oh, cat? So, see, even it's hard for us parents, too. <laughs> yes, <laughs> to yes. To figure out. I'm a parent as well. Great to My drive children your dog teach me a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, coding and all of that. So, this thing's really cool. Sorry, Mike, we have Mike, to steal that from you. Mike, we have to borrow that phone. Oh. Sorry. No. Next I'm app. i toy back. <laughs> So this one's cool because, like you mentioned earlier, you don't want your kids on Snapchat, but they love right. the filters. So yes. you put this in here. Yes. You and you snap your phone in. Essentially, you get the same kind of filters. They correct? get the same kind of filters as and Snapchat. I think we have some photos that your kids took this weekend. Oh, <laughs> so they goodness. threw in some stars. and uh... Yes. And it automatically lifts their head up. <laughs> oh, look. There's my flowers. <laughs> yeah. It automatically lifts their head up so that they can go outside and explore and the real fun. world. Yep. There we go. <laughs> we just got one of Jen. Excellent. <laughs> Great. So that's Pixel Play. Pixel Play, so all age groups. I think my daughter would love this. Um, and so tell me about this one here. This is the circuit, which I think Mike's trying to figure out over there. So Mike, what Where, you do is you, teach me? is you use your pen okay. to create. <laughs> so I draw the, from here? Yes, the conductive energy. Yes, make sure you fill in the little circle oh, as well. Got to And all the in. way around. Yes, go all the way around and then write your name. And keep it connected. Okay, now keep, keep it going. all the way over and around. Oops. And then you have to do the same with the circles there. And once you've put the electricity on there, it should. Oh, you're going to have to connect that as oh, well because you have well. to have a full circuit. Ah, I see. There's so a, Mike's doing that. We have these coding too for underneath. older kids, these board games, and they can just kind of. Color in connections. So Think Fun is a great uh, company that has continued to create great puzzle games and board games. You can mm -hmm. find them at Target. You can find one of these for $14. I think that's the perfect birthday oh, wow. gift for anyone over the age of eight that's really okay. interested in actual coding. All right. Well, we're out of time, but Mike's almost there. Maybe we'll come back and get the, the actual circuit working. <laughs> Again, more, find me a three-year-old to tell me how to work for this. More so. There you go. On you all go, of Mike. these stories, okay. head to essaylive.com so and click the Ask there. Me on there. SA Live tab. We're going to keep working on these toys. Yeah, they're a little advanced for us parents here. Coming up on SA Live, a beautiful folklorico ballet that combines modern and traditional dance is coming to San Antonio. A preview of what you can expect next. And later on the show, on-the-go beauty products that will save you time and money. Yep, both of those things. Stay with us.
Oh my goodness, that is absolutely gorgeous. Ballet Napantla explores the space in between traditional Mexican folklorico and contemporary dance, and the show is coming here to San Antonio in just a couple of weeks. Here today is artistic director of the show, Andrea Guajardo. Welcome. Thank, Thank you so you. much for being here. That was it's absolutely nice to be here. Thank a you. beautiful video because this ballet is about fusion, right? Yes, yes, exactly. So it's a so we're a contemporary ballet, Mexican folklorical fusion company. We also incorporate West African dance and um, classical ballet as well. We have certain pieces that are just folklorico, certain pieces that are just contemporary, and we have fusion pieces as well, yes. And you grew up in the valley, but now you're in, in I, New York. I did, yes. I grew up in the valley studying dance, dancing all my life life since you know age two and age 17 I moved to New York to study at the Ailey School and after graduating I danced with a company called Momix for several years and then I started getting into folklorico again and doing this made me realize how important it is to me to continue to represent who I am my culture my heritage through dance which is something that I've done my entire life and so um, that's when I decided to join forces with my very good friend, Martin Rodriguez, who's my co-founder and, and associate director. And um, he is, comes from a very you know, wide and knowledgeable background of, of folklorico dance. So he's in charge of the folklorico side. I'm in charge kind of the contemporary ballet side. And being the, between the two of us, we've created Ballet Nepantla. And you know, other dancers as well, my good friend Anthony Bacconi, Argelia, they're... Um, we have Afro teacher, another a contemporary ballet choreographer. So it's a very collaborative effort, and um, yeah, and it's going a lot, great. A lot of, I mean, these are professional dancers in yes, this show, world class yes. dancers. Yes, yes, and, and yes. Grammy award winning musicians. Um, yeah, Grammy award nominated. nominated. Actually, Felipe. Almost, almost. Yeah, maybe this year he's <laughs> up there right now. Actually, yeah, for the for the Grammys. Now the combination between the folklorico and then the and the witch and the candles and everything. Explain that. Oh You're yes, so so world. this dance, uh, La Bruja. So traditionally, it's done in the folklorico world as just a dance with the women wearing the traditional, their long white Veracruz skirts and the way that the skirts are made are to represent the waves of, of Veracruz because it's a coastal region. And so what we did is me and my, my friend Anthony Bocconi who played a huge part in collaborating and choreographing this piece, we got together and we decided, hey, let's, let's take this totally out of the box and instead of the traditional, let's just make it a contemporary ballet duet where we're showcasing, it's more of a story ballet with the witch, La Bruja, and she puts this man under a spell. And then we said, wait a minute, why not make it a fusion piece, have the girls come in the background wearing the long white skirts and the traditional way they do it with the candles on the heads. So yes, I'd like to teach you um, okay. if you guys would like to learn. So I brought you guys Ours some looks, training cups. Uh, yes, they look smaller <laughs> than yours, which is probably very smart. Okay. And they're so, plastic. Plastic yes, is plastic, good. yes. Safety, safety mm -hmm. first. So we put it on our heads. Oh my gosh. Okay. And I should have curled my hair for like <laughs> nested in. Uh huh. And so what we do, we can practice actually. Let's come to this side first. You, and we'll practice walking across. Walking? Yes. So let's just walk this way. Walk. And, and walk. And yeah. I, I asked if there's any sort of trick in the show that you have like a band around your chin or something like that, but no, the, the dancers have to. We start with it this way. And we walk onto the stage so that the audience sees that there are no tricks behind it. Then we put ah! it on our head. I want That's it. why we need oh, safety cups. The oh. <laughs> and then we start dancing. You can I'll, do it. I'll continue with you. You can do it. You're doing great. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm almost in a trance right now. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Just follow my arms. <laughs> Okay. All right. That We're was great. Jobs. We are going to let you take it away right Thank now. Thank you so much for having me. Dance. Oh, let me move this. And Ballet Napatla is coming to the Guadalupe Theater at the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center on Saturday, November 25th. And you can find out more information by calling 956-330-9439 or go online to eventbrite.com and search for Sin Fronteras in San Antonio or even up there in Austin. All right, coming up.
travel size stuff to help make everything easier, ladies. We're going to share some of those products coming on Monday. And earlier we said, how do you kind of spice up that really good comfort food? If you take pumpkin pie filling, put it on a cake batter crust instead of pie dough, Oh my goodness, it's kind of like having pumpkin pie and vanilla cake. I like that idea. You can throw in your pocket, your purse. On the Go Beauty has never been easier thanks to style and beauty expert Donna Kim from DonnaDaily.com. All right, we've got a few products to show today. Yes. And these are quick and easy easy fixes, right? Yes, and especially when you travel a lot, these are must-haves. You should definitely consider these when you're packing your stuff. Okay. Our first one is right over here because the first thing people <laughs> see is your smile, it's right? your smile. <laughs> so this is a must. This is from Oral Gen. It's the New Pearl 32X Perfecting Whitening Pen. Um, it's a no peroxide whitening pen. Um, Oral Gen is just known to having a really amazing teeth whitening products. Um, it's 100% vegan. It's perfect for sensitive teeth. Um, and this system has been clinically proven to whiten teeth up to eight shades in just one treatment cycle. It's okay. kind of amazing. So I like to put this in my purse or in my car mm -hmm. just so I'm like, oh, I have to, mm -hmm. you know, make sure that my teeth look right for whatever occasion. <laughs> <laughs> so next here we Your have... selfie ready at any time. Yes, exactly. So I actually have very sensitive skin um, and I love scents and I love perfumes. So this has been one of my favorite new brands that I've discovered. It's called Fleur mm -hmm. and um, it's just gorgeous. It's um, cruelty free. It's free of skin allergens. The ingredients in there just won't damage or irritate my skin. Um, this is one of my favorite scents, but the problem is I don't want to bring a heavy perfume like this with me when I travel, so I got the travel size. So this is $20 for the travel size, and then $85 for the bigger size. Any minute now. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's such beautiful packaging, too, so that's a must. I, I'll, I'll admit, the first time I saw this, I thought it was either lip balm or lipstick. Oh, Turns really? out, perfume. <laughs> it's perfume, and I know you are so excited about this, Vanna. <laughs> This is too cute. I can't stand it, folks. Yes. So this Look is from Amika. Look at these itty-bitty <laughs> travel products. Look at how cute they are. Well, especially for you.